guys, welcome back to another video. In today's episode, we'll be playing some more Red Dead Redemption. And, um, this is episode 7, by the way. And in the last episode, we, um, defeated the gang. Well, some of the gang, I'm not too sure. Um, weren't too focused on the story. But what we did was, um, we defeated both one of the gang. And then we earned, like, um, quite a lot of money from doing it. And I think it was, um... Bill William, Williamson's gang, I'm not too sure, but in today's episode we'll be doing some more missions, and first we'll be doing a Bonnie McFly mission, so yeah, let's get right into it. Excuse me, Mr. Marston, have you seen my father anywhere? No. He went out this morning to ride the land and was supposed to be back hours ago. I don't know, the ranch hands have been out looking, but so far they've found nothing. Well, come on, let's go look for him. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I'm sure it's nothing, but I worry about the old... Okay, so we are in-game. And all we need to do is to just, um, get our horse. So we just need to mount our horse, and then just follow Bonnie McFly. Yeah. Got to accompany Bonnie to the ranch's, um, outskirts. Yeah. So I think Bonnie McFly's dad has gone missing. I'm not too sure, but I think we're gonna find him. You're probably right, but I can't help worrying. He's all I've got. So we're just gonna follow her. Don't you have any brothers or sisters, Miss McFarland? I had six brothers, but five of them died, either from sickness or foolish choices. And the other one? He left for the east and never came back. Must be getting on for ten years ago now. He's a high and mighty banker in New York, according to his last letter. He should be here, helping you and your pa. I don't want his help. He can live his life any way he wants. But when I see those city fellers coming in on the railway, all dressed up like a sore toe, I fear a little for his soul. He switched his saddle for a tie, and that's fine. I just never met a man in a tie I could trust. Yeah! Look! Someone. Right, so I can see somebody, so just go follow her. Daddy! What happened? Nothing nice. Wrestlers, I guess. Maybe the baller twins, that bunch. Now you head back to the ranch right now and fetch your wagon. Yes, sir. Marston, you watch after her. I'll do that, sir. Okay, so we got a company body to the ranch. I think two people just died here, so yeah. Let's go keep following her. I think we should get back there as soon as we can. Who could have done something like that? Your boss seemed to have an idea who it was. Let's just do what he says and get the wagon. Come on, boys. Those damn rustlers. I've got a good mind to head over to Pike's Basin myself. I don't think that's a good idea. And you're no better. How many men have you killed? Do you really want to know? It's disgusting. You never met the men I killed. I heard the way you talked about that gang you were in. Like there was some twisted morality to what you did. We all have a code. Only some of us don't realize The outlaw it. with the code? How wonderfully romantic. The reluctant murderer, the noble criminal. There's nothing more depressing than a man who's found a way to think the bad ends is good. Oh my god! The barn's on fire! The barn's on fire, so we need to go and, um... Get over to the barn. Whoa. So this looks like it's um, on fire. Don't know who might have did it. Clamp the ladder, so we need to climb up this. I need to climb the upper barn platform. So 
So we're just about to make it in from a different window. There we are. So it's climbed to the ground floor. Whoa. So I need to open the barn doors. Whoa, so we can't just shoot it. He got the door open! <laughs> need to try and get the horses out. Let's try and get the other two out. There we are. Need to get this one out. Uh, but we need to jump over with this one, so. Uh, how did I do that? So here's the first one. Second one. Need to ride the last one out of the um, burning barn. There we are. Man should do it. So he needs to jump out and take the horse to the corral. You sure know how to handle yourself. Thanks, Marston. Yes, John, thanks. You well, you saved the ranch. If you'll excuse me, I, I've got chores to attend to. Hey, wh hold on a second over there. Sincerely, John. Thank you. Well, I did all I could, Miss McFarland. Sorry about all the damage. That gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah, well, my father fought Indians. I scarcely think we're going to be frightened by some white trash. White trash can be pretty frightening. Well, they don't frighten me. Good. John, my family owes you a great debt. I think you got enough debt. You saved my life. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Um, well, you get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's bearing up. Okay, so we've done this mission. And the next mission we need to do is, um, I think it's a Nigel West Dickens mission. So I'll do that right now. Let me just call for my horse. So I think we've still got zero ammo for um, my double barrel shotgun, so we need to try and get some ammo for it when we're in um, Armadillo, so let's just ride over there now. Okay, so we've made it over to Armadillo, and um, now what we need to do is go to the Nigel West Dickens mission. And I can tell you, with no uncertainty, that miracle cures are no laughing matter. I bid you <laughs> good day, sir. <laughs> oh, Mr. Marston, good to see you. How have you been keeping? I'm well, Mr. Uh, Mr. West Dickens. Nigel West Dickens of East Cheap, London, New Waverly, New York, and Armadillo, New Austin. At your service. At my service. Yet everyone's service, at the service of science, of knowledge, of life. Uh, <laughs> how are your wounds? Hmm? Oh, oh, uh, much, much better. But then they would be. Mm -hmm. Would be? I know a cure for all ailments, Mr. Marston. Ah, I'm sure you do. And I'm sure for just $2 an ounce, I could live forever. Oh, but for you, sir, I do a bulk discount rate of $1.95 an ounce. <laughs> as long as you buy 100 ounces or more, that's a lot of immortality. Oh, give it up, old man. That's Mr. West Dickens to you, boy. 
Give it up, old man. Um, listen, Marston, I'm broke. But this stuff is good. It works. I need a healthy young man like you. <laughs> Come along. Let's ride over to my newest customer at Ridgewood, and I'll explain while we go. Okay. <laughs> to Ridgewood Farm! Okay, so we need to get on the wagon. I think we need to drive Mr. West Dickens to um, Ridgewood, uh, Ridgewood Farm. Sorry, I just can't say it properly. So we'll just go drive over there. a desired product at a fair price. Best you alight here, dear boy, so no one sees us arriving together. I'll see you there. Be ready to enchant the crowd. Okay, so we're gonna go to the Nigel Westicken Shire over in Ridgewood. So, um, got to make sure no one sees us arriving together. Now we're going to show off the dead eye thing. I didn't know that. Friends, hardworking souls of uh, Chola Springs, gather round, gather round. Do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, uh, neurologic or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article that cures headaches, neuralgia, uh, earache, toothaches, backaches, swelling, sprains, sore chests, swelling of the throats, contracted cords and muscles, anxieties and ravaged nerves, stiff joints, wrenches, dislocations, cuts and bruises, and it adds vitality and vigor to the healthy man. <laughs> but can you prove it, old man? Oh, I'm sure there's some customer here who could prove the qualities of its by take a drink right now you sir come up here step right up that's the spirit ladies and gentlemen pay close attention this poor wretched volunteer entirely unknown to me will demonstrate the effects of dr west dickens own patent tonic 
Be you a cowpoke or athlete, this miraculous elixir developed with the wisdom of the East keeps the muscles supple and relaxes the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of youth and vigor to the whole system. Not possible, I hear you say. Well, doubt no longer. Faith can move mountains, but I ask not for faith. I am a man of science, and today, science will be vindicated. Your eyesight is greatly improved, is that not so, friend? If you say so. That's right, it is. You heard him. What a good sport you are, sir. Now, gaze over yonder at that porch. If you squint, you may just be able to make out the skull that's hanging there. Go ahead, friend. Shoot that skull and demonstrate the miraculous eyesight you now possess. Okay, so we're gonna shoot the skull with dead eye. Remarkable! The eyesight of an eagle, granted by imbibing Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. Anybody can make that shot. This man is a fraud. If your eye's so damn sharp, why don't you try shooting my hat out of the air? My friends, our test case has been challenged to shoot a gentleman's hat out of the sky above our heads. You can fool these people, but you ain't fooling me. Right. Let's just see how sharp you is with a moving target. Steady yourself, stranger. Such an eye! Behold the power of the elixir! Plucked out of the sky! Hey! Hey! What? You think you can put a hole in a man's hat and just walk away, do you? Hey, it don't work like that around here, mister. Come on! Are you a man or not? A challenge of battle has been offered to our volunteer. What? Well, so we need to, um, we're having a fight right now. We need to go and ground tackle him. Because he doesn't believe that we have unlocked Dead Eye. Whoa. So I just need to punch him. There it is! Skeptics and dissenters! Irrefutable proof! Do not let this opportunity pass you by! Look, he's over there! Go get him! This ends now! Watch out! He's got a gun! Who the hell do you think you are? You ain't leaving here alive. Okay, so he's got a gun. Oh, hey, a marvelous shot, dear boy! The kind of deadly accuracy that can only be afforded by the West Dickens elixir. Come, I have plenty for all. You'll be fine. Get out of my way. Hey, where are you going? No harm in trying one bottle, I suppose. Well, I think that went kind of well, don't you? I'm just glad that my normal job involves either chasing after cattle or murderers. Not the likes of you, mister. Don't be like that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to say my goodbyes, head on back to the real world. Wait, sir. I've been thinking about your predicament. And uh, I think I may have an idea. I've been thinking I could be your cunning Odysseus. Beware of the Greeks burying gifts, sir. Mm -hmm. Williamson had better beware. We will make them into Trojans. I don't rightly get you. I want you to go and see my old friend, Seth. Uh, he can come across as a little curious, but I'm sure you two will get on. He's uh, most often found at Coote's Chapel. He's very devout. Why see him? Because between him and me, we can get those gates to open for you, and you can walk right in, just like in Homer's great Trojan yarn! Yeah. Okay, so, um, we've done the mission, and we've also unlocked deadlines, so, deadline, so yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this um, video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Bye.